My name is Tiffany Hungerford and I have Crohn's disease. My health journey started when I was a teenager. I started to have different gastro symptoms, but every time I would go to the doctor, I was just told that it was probably stress related. After my husband and I got married, we had been married for 10 months, I became very ill. Um, I was hospitalized for several weeks and I was finally given the diagnosis of Crohn's disease. So when I was first diagnosed, I, I was still young. I was 23 years old. I didn't know what Crohn's disease was. I'd never heard of it before. I had so many questions and unfortunately, there is no handbook for people that have Crohn's disease. And it was really frustrating because I didn't know what I was dealing with. I didn't know what our life was gonna look like from that point on. 19 years ago, there weren't support groups for people with Crohn's disease. It was kind of a disease that nobody really talked about or nobody really knew much about. So it was frustrating and it was confusing and um, it was isolating. We've had hospitalizations, surgeries, medications work, medications not work. We've seen all kinds of specialists, doctors. You know, from a mental health perspective, there's a lot of depression and anxiety that also comes with Crohn's disease, and, and I've experienced all of those things. Tiffany's disease, I would say, and like her diagnosis, really kind of pushed us towards very grateful parents. Um, it was really severe, and at the time, uh, doctors weren't really sure what the long-term effects were going to be during pregnancy and a lot of those drugs. Um, so at one point we kind of thought we weren't going to be parents, right? We weren't going to be able to, to have our own children. So it was really um, an emotional struggle um, as, long, as well as the physical struggle that she was going through with, with just coping with the symptoms. I was so sick in those first couple of years. Now, of course, we're blessed. We have two amazing boys, and um, I do think it's hard for them. Sometimes they come home from school and mom's in bed. I worry sometimes if I'm like enough of a mom for them because I do feel ill a lot and there's things that I can't do with them or things that I can't participate in with them. I just hope that, you know, when they look back on their childhood, they don't think of a sick mom. They see a mom who did the best she could and, and tried to fill, fill in those gaps. My mom is super supportive. She's always taking us to all of our different events and on top of her having Crohn's disease and all that. She doesn't really complain about it. She just works really hard to make sure that we're happy and she's super supportive of us. My mom is a hardworking person who always puts people in front of her, even if it means sacrificing whatever she's doing. Tiffany plays, she plays all the positions as far as like the roles in the family and things like that. I, I joke and call her my Wonder Woman because she keeps everything moving with us and keeps us moving in the right direction. Tiffany works really hard for everybody, um, whether it's our family, whether it's the community. She has a lot of drive and a lot of empathy. I'm really proud of everything that she does for the community and for us as a family. I became involved with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, I believe four years ago. When we moved to Texas, I saw a Facebook post about the craft event, and it just so happens that the person that posted it lived in our neighborhood. So we went to our first craft event. Then I learned more about Camp Oasis, and I thought that was just fabulous. I loved what the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation was doing um, to provide support and education, and really to help find a cure. Finding a cure for Crohn's to me is really important because I've firsthand seen it's not just the patient that goes through um, that disease, it's the friends, the family, the people around them. So it affects how they live their lives, it affects how, you know, decisions that they make in social situations, and so it's a mentally taxing disease and frankly I would love to see no one have to suffer through that. Something I want my mom to know is I'm super proud of how hard she's working to help find a cure for Crohn's disease and that when we cure Crohn's disease that it'll be because of some of the contributions she's made. I want my mom to know that I will love her and nothing can change that. 
I want Tiffany to know that we're exceptionally proud of the person she is and what she does for this world. Um, she has to go through quite a bit physically and mentally with her disease, but the fact that she does it with a grace and a kindness towards others is really special to me. Finding a cure for Crohn's disease is important, so people like my mom can spend more time with their family and I'll have to get her medicines and her checkups and all that stuff. It would be beyond my wildest dreams if, if the cure was to be found. Thank you.